Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. Our guest is the author of The Expectant Father, The Ultimate Guide for Dads to Be, a uh, former military. Thank you for your seven years of service. And uh, we were talking uh, just before the break about exposing your, your kids to everything. And this last week, Jonathan Gold, the restaurant critic for the Los Angeles Times, passed away. He was very young in his 50s. And one of the things that somebody pointed out was he was a great father and that he exposed his kids to all kinds of international foods. And I think that's brilliant. I did that with my kids as well. My son became a chef. And we all love eating and talking about great food. And it was a source of commonality. And I, 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 I loved Jonathan's uh, prose, the way he wrote. I never met him, but uh, he's going to be missed, I think, a lot by his kids because of that exposure to all the culture of food. What kinds of things have you exposed your three daughters to that might be considered a little bit unusual? Well, I've got to say just on the subject of food that that, that is, you asked about mistakes. That was probably a mistake that I made. I, I have spent a great deal of the time parenting my kids as a single father. And for whatever reason, I'm just not a foodie. And so I exposed them to whatever they had at Costco. You know, just the, the, a fairly limited palette of things that I like, tuna and mushrooms and cans and things like that, But that, which is the kind of... of uh, the type of food taste that they have now, but what, what, what they, what we, we you live in San Francisco, about. one of the one of the foodie capitals <laughs> of the world. <laughs> oh, I know, I I, know. I hear that all the time. I'm I'm perfectly happy to have tuna every for every meal, but it's uh, canned tuna. What we did, what we did that, that we still enjoy, and we still have these references. It's absolutely wonderful. Is I introduced them to movies from the time that they were very very young, and in particular Hitchcock movies. And even though they were a little bit scary from time to time, we always talked about them. And there were there were movies that we still that they saw when they were five or six years old that we still talk about, and we have these little inside jokes. And there were there were some uh, mini series that we had that, that were recorded that we watched, and they probably have seen some of them twenty, thirty times. And and they become these these little family cultural references that have have made us closer in a way by by having these these film references and and none of uh, none of you have 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 pet birds right no no but uh <laughs> but we we like that movie though that yeah was, absolutely one of many one of uh, and, and, hitchcock you know, was really, great think, uh, it, it exposed they're, they're interested in film they're interested in photography they're interested in art and i think a lot of that comes from my exposing them to a lot of films and also from schlepping them around to, to museums all the time yeah, I tried that one. That one didn't work so well. Uh, that, uh, actually, I think my daughter likes museums more than my son. And I, the last museum we went, I went with my son, and my kids are adults too, uh, was a comic book exhibit at a museum here in the uh, Southern California, Los Angeles area. And he did like that. I mean, it showed the original Superman comic book and the oh, original wow. Batman comic book. And and he he was really into that, so we uh, and we had a good time. And he shares his comics with me to this day. They've changed since you and I were kids, but that's that's another story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, as your kids are in their twenties now, did you plan anything for them as an expectant father? In other words, you thought, gee, maybe they'll go into the military, maybe they'll do this, doctor, lawyer, whatever. Did, do you, you know, did I, you start at that I, age? Well, I think when I started off, I was fully expecting each one of them to be a boy, but that didn't happen for either, for, uh, for uh, any of them, for all three of them, obviously. And, uh, but I still had this idea that they were going to be jocks. And I pushed that in the beginning, so physical activity and exercise and baseball and football and whatever, and none of them had any interest in it. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that was, so I, I, I wasted some time with that. 
but I, I really did try to do what, what we talked about before, before the break, about trying to let them be who they are and, and take my cues from them and expose them to a lot of different things. And if they were interested in gymnastics, we did that. If they were interested in music, they did that. If we, you know, whatever it is that they, that they like to do, art or you know, clay or anything, we, you know, I, ju- I tried to give them as much as I could. And let them make their own decisions. And if I saw that there was a passion for something, then we would do more of that. But if they seem to be bored or, or afraid of or just lost interest in it, then we would do something else. And at the same time, uh, your daughter, the singer, is she in the music business today? No, she's in. Uh, she's a photo editor and is just switching over to doing documentary films now. Ah. Got it. Well, we should talk. Uh, uh, listen, we've really appreciated uh, Armin, and uh, uh, look forward to uh, to talking to you again. The Expectant Father: The Ultimate Guide for Dads to Be uh, by Armin A. Brott. We'll have information at LateNightHealth.com, and uh, I think I'm supposed to be a guest on his show at some time. So we'll look you forward to that. Yeah, we will Thank set you, that up. Thank Pleasure you very much. Time. Thank you. All right, coming up next, we're going to talk about the gut health with Wade T. Lightheart as Late Night Health continues. Join us at Facebook.com slash Late Night Health Radio. Don't go away. More coming up. <laughs> 